magic horror from Kerala. First, cannibalism. Now, black magic on kids. Black magic on kids in Pantamatitta. Holy city's occult shame after human sacrifice. Another horror. Protests against black magic on children. Black magic using children has been reported in Pantamatitta. The incident is reportedly taken place in the district itself. A child reportedly fell unconscious during the procedure. Residents in the area are protesting against the police for not taking action. Residents are protesting, alleging that the Malaya Pauli police has not taken any action despite filing a complaint. They say they won't stop the protest until the tantric is arrested. As per residents, the tantric threatens by hurling curses if anybody opposes her. My colleague Shibi Mohal is now joining us live from Pantamatita. Shibi, yesterday of course you reported on the House of Horrors where two women victims were used as human sacrifice by three accused who have now been arrested. Now another case of uh, shocking proportions emerging from Kerala itself from the same district. Black magic on children. Who is this tantric? Well, Paulumi, like you mentioned, much before people can come out of this shock that uh, ha that was reported in the last two days of the human sacrifice. Another case, it's uh, from the same district, Patanantita is emerging. In fact, a video of this woman, uh, she's uh, actual name is Shobana, is what we're hearing from the police. She has been running a madam there called uh, Vasanti Madam, so she's known there as Vasanti. And uh, over the years, she has been doing this black magic on children. So, from what we're understanding. Uh, She's been using children, saying that if children, uh, you know, if children are a little bit back, you know, a little bit uh, not very good or bright in their studies, using black magic, I can help them, you know, attain knowledge and I can help them improve in their studies is what uh, this woman has been offering. And uh, a lot of people over the years has been believing, has been bringing children under the age of 18, small children coming there, becoming a victim to this. So uh, the residents there are alleging that... Uh, they have complained, they filed bars petitions, but still there has been no action. And every time when the residents went to that place, went to that tantric's house to oppose this, to question this, she always used to hurl curses saying that, you know, you will die in the next 40, 40 41 days. Or uh, she used to throw uh, flowers on them, you know, create all, show all this drama is what the uh, residents there are, there are alleging. And they have complained quite often, but the police, even when the police once, when they came there also, she was not allowing them uh, to enter the place is what uh, we are hearing from sources. So uh, right now the woman has been taken into custody. She has been taken into custody by the DYSP of Patanantita. She will be questioned exactly on what, is ha what happened and what has she been doing there. How many children were victim to this because uh, there was a video that has been uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 becoming viral on social media where we can see a small child actually falling unconscious. So it is a very small child. So children being used uh, after this human sacrifice coming, you know, a lot of right. truth, a lot of incidents like this coming out. Many people are coming forward with complaints. In fact, the protest also, they have been protesting since a while, but after this incident, they strengthened the protest. Uh, even part, uh, political parties like uh, CPM's youth, when DYFA also took out a march towards that house saying that until this woman is arrested, until this woman is taken into custody, until any action is taken, we are not going to back out because we really don't want something like uh, what happened in the last two days to happen in the state again. Absolutely. So and it's, it's, it's very shocking what you're telling us, uh, Shubhi Mohan, because what you're saying is that these protests have been happening against uh, this tantric for a while now, but nobody took them seriously. So that basically raises a question mark on the administration, on the police itself. Now, obviously, they have uh, escalated their protests in the wake of what happened in that house of horrors, and the police has now taken this woman into custody. But previously, why didn't the police act? Well, yes, that's what I was uh, mentioning. Like the people are saying many times when they went there, when people, when the local residents went there to oppose, she was throwing them out. She was, in fact, using the help of uh, men there, like, you know, uh, gundas, in fact, and asking them to, you know, don't allow anybody to enter. That's what she was saying. And police also once went there, but she did not allow them to enter. Now, what, what happened there? Uh, why was the police not able to, you know, 
take a woman into custody who was doing black magic over the years? That's the question that's raised by the residents also. Now, the police, uh, especially in the wake of what happened in the last two days, uh, this now, at least now they've taken, uh, taken this seriously and taken the woman into custody. They will have to answer this question because uh, a special investigative team has been formed to investigate the... Uh, in fact, uh, the human sacrifice case and all the missing cases in the state in the last few years. So, in that in that scenario, in this situation, incidents like this. Now, the health uh, now the uh, uh, the health minister Veena George uh, responded to the issue, saying that we are taking the government here is taking these incidents very seriously. We will inquire, we will investigate as to why the action was not taken earlier, and uh, we will be taking strict action. These are things that cannot be accepted, especially using children is something that we cannot accept. We will be taking action is what she has reacted and uh, she has said that she has given direction to take strict action and the woman has been taken into custody. Now the police will have to tell us in the coming hours what exactly was happening there and okay. why the action was delayed and why she was not taken into custody or arrested earlier. Shibhi Mohan, thank you so much for joining us with all of those details. Now in the state of Kerala, an unbelievable tale has come to fore.